Ever heard of the Dewey Decimal System? Mr. Melville Dewey created one of the two most widely used library classification systems in the world. The Dewey Decimal System assigns numbers to different subjects. Have you noticed that all of our nonfiction books have numbers and letters on the spine? These are a type of code for librarians. The numbers and letters together form a book's call number. In our library, the call number is always three numbers or more and up to three letters. The call number is like the book's address. It tells us where the book lives in the library. Every call number is a different subject. For example, fairy tales are 398. Outdoor sports are 796. Pets are 636. In most cases, the three letters are the author's last name. The call number for the orange book in this image is 811 ADA. That means it is a literature book written by someone whose last name begins with the letters ADA. Wait, do I have to memorize all of these numbers? Goodness no! Thankfully, you do not have to memorize the numbers. There are thousands of subjects and numbers to remember. If you really like a particular subject, you might remember the number, but you don't have to. Librarians work with Dewey numbers every day, but we mostly don't memorize the numbers either. Can't remember the numbers? That's what the OPAC is for. OPAC is short for the library catalog. Even though you don't have to remember the numbers, it can be helpful to remember the 10 main sections. This can help you find books if you're in a hurry or if the library catalog is being used by another student. Dewey practice time! The zeros section is called general knowledge. It includes things that don't easily fit somewhere else or that did not exist when Dewey created the decimal system. This includes encyclopedias, world record books, and books of general facts. The zeros section also has books about the internet, library science, video games, and coding. The 100 section. Think about it. 100. One person. It's about who one is, how one feels, yeah? This section includes books about psychology, mindfulness, and philosophy. The 200 section contains books about religion and mythology. There are now two beings you are concerned with, yourself and who slash what created you. Two beings equal 200 section. Books in the 300 section tell us about how humans get along with one another. The 300s include social science, careers, the military, crime and punishment, government, fairy tales, and folk tales. To communicate with other people, you need language. The 400 section is about languages. It includes dictionaries, thesauri, books about grammar, and books about all languages, Spanish, French, Japanese, and sign languages are all in the 400 section. To learn more about the natural world around you, check out the 500 section. This section is all about nature. It includes books about astronomy, science, rocks, plants, animals, weather, dinosaurs, and landforms. Nature is a huge topic, so this section is often one of the largest in the library. The 600 section will help you learn more about technology and applied sciences. Where the 500 section is about natural sciences, this section is about how we use science to improve our lives. This section includes transportation, medicine, cookbooks, pets, architecture, and farming. The 700 section is all about arts, sports, and leisure activities. These are all topics you might do in your free time. You will find books about drawing, dancing, sports, music, fishing, camping, and art here. The 800 section is for literature or stories. In Dewey's time, the 800 section was for all fiction stories, regardless of genre. The fiction section grew exponentially in the 20th century, so many libraries now pull fiction novels into a larger fiction section. Some libraries further divide the fiction section into a number of different genres. With fiction titles removed, all that's left in the 800 section is short stories, jokes, dramas, plays, and poetry. 
The 900 section is for history and geography. Here you will find biographies, maps, atlases, world history, and information about countries and states. Ch -ch -ch challenge time! But seriously, where would you classify these books? A book about Wales. A book about World War II. A book about reggae music. A play by William Shakespeare. A Russian English dictionary. A vegetarian cookbook. A how to draw book. A book about YouTube world records. Super hard challenge! A book about 31 female CEOs. A book about haunted houses. I hope you enjoyed this quick video about the Dewey Decimal System. Go ahead, get your Dewey on!